Hey guys, this is Gloria. Um, I have been watching some videos of some very, very talented ladies. Um, they've been making uh, cameras out of the balsa boxes from um, Michaels. And of course, um, I've solved the balsa boxes, but I didn't pick them up because at the time, I was like, well, I got so many of them from the past season that I didn't need to pick up any more for this season. So I didn't pick up any. And of course, when I went to Michael's to try to find some, you know, the shapes that uh, everyone was using, um, they were out of them. I mean, completely out of them. And I went to like three different Michael's. I know that I'm not supposed to be shopping, but I really, really wanted to make one of those balsa boxes, uh, cameras. So, anywho, I didn't find any, which was good. Um, so, what I did was I, I started thinking about the boxes that I had at home, which is like this. And excuse my fingers, because I just got finished working on the one that I worked on. But um, this is the one that I had, which was from past season. Um, and I figured, this is not too different. Um, it is different, but it's not too different. So I tried to figure out if I could actually make one with this particular box. So if you guys remember, this is the box from last season. And it's shaped differently than the one that everyone's been using for the camera. However, I think that it came out pretty darn good. So this is the camera that I made from the Bossa box that I had. Um, what I did was um, I painted the entire box with warm... Uh, what's it called? Warm vanilla? No, it's called vanilla. This is it. Craft Smart um, Vanilla Acrylic Paint. So I painted the entire box with that paint and then I used some of that um, lace that I always use from Hobby Lobby and I layered that on just the top of the box and not all the way even to the bottom, just um, almost to the bottom. And that lace has like a curved edge to it which worked out pretty good because it helped me to center my little viewfinder here. Um, the next thing that I did was I used a, a old ribbon spool and it was one of these um, Studio G ribbon spools from probably about a year, it had to be over a year ago because these were Valentine. Um, and so I had one of these and if you take this part off um, it leaves you with the perfect little little viewfinder well the perfect viewfinder for me so that's what I did and then I cut a piece of acetate to fit the front and I made this flower in the inside and I just put a little heart bling in the inside of the flower and that's all I did to it I also wrapped um, some of this box pleated trim around the side of it and then I finished it off by wrapping uh, a bead of uh, pearl around the front and then that way you couldn't see any of the raw edges of that ribbon um, of this uh, spool that I had to use. The other thing that I did was I just added these flowers to the side because I just thought they were pretty and added a few pearls and then this leftover bling that I had when I created a card um, for someone and then I just put two more pearls off to the other side and this is one of those buttons that I bought. Um, it's not going to focus good, but I one of those buttons that I bought from, I think it was, yeah, Joanne. And I just wrapped the bottom of the button with some bling so they wouldn't, you know, look unfinished at the bottom. And um, on this side, because remember guys, this is where this... Uh, elastic trim was and because I didn't cover this with paper there were two holes here so I used this hole for my little clicker part for my camera and then I used this one where I just put a pearl at the top and you know like most cameras they have like like this is the camera that I use this is my camera that I use to film uh, my videos with and it has more than one little clicker thing at the top so I was like, well, I can use that to my advantage and put a little pearl there. And so that's how I finished off the box. And then I also added this trim. Uh, this is some rosette trim that I bought from Saw Crafter and some pearls that I also got from Saw Crafter. Um, I thought that this pink pearl would just tie in with the pink uh, flower that I put on the front. And I ran some of that same ivory pearl trim um, up through 
the handle so I can make a little holder. So this actually can hang on the wall, which is, you know, what I wanted to do with it. Also, what I did was um, I put some of this um, Velcro that I got from Joanne, and it holds it really, really well. And I was able to find it in a tan color, which I really like because it doesn't really take away from, you know, the, the prettiness of the little camera. And then the back of it is, um, you know, just painted. It's nothing fancy to the back. So you can actually just, you know, hang it up on a wall and... Also, you could use it to um, put your little small, you know, three by five pictures in the inside of and have your pictures all hanging there. And so what my idea was is to make some of these for my, my graduating girls and put maybe 2013 in the middle right here for each girl and then let them put a few pictures inside of there. And this will be their little picture holder also. So, yep, that's my um, first attempt of my little camera box. I hope you guys like it. Um, please comment below and let me know what you think. Thank you so much, Lydia, for your inspiration. Thank you, Fiona. Um, you are the best. Fiona actually has a tutorial where she shows you how to make one of these from scratch if you didn't have one of these boss boxes. And also, Gina, who is Scrapanology here on YouTube. Thank you guys so very much. It was so much fun to make this. And I hope all of you guys can try it if you got some of these boxes at home. Or watch Fiona's uh, tutorial, even if you don't have the box at home. All right, guys. So I will talk to you guys very soon. You guys have a good night. Bye-bye.